Today, I am going to deliver a talk on topic of introduction, definition and concept of farming system. Indian economy is predominantly rural and agricultural and the declining trend in size of land holding poses a serious challenge to the sustainability and profitability of farming. In view of the decline in per capita availability of land from 0 0.5 hectare in 1950 to 51 to 0.15 hectare by the turn of the century and land a projected further decline to less than 0 0.1 hectare by 2020. It is imperative to develop strategies and agricultural technologies that enable adequate employment and income generation, especially for small and marginal farmers who constitute more than 80% of the farming community. The crop and the cropping system based perspective of resource need to make a way of farming systems based resource conducted in a holistic manner for the sound management of available resources by small farmers. Under the gradual shrinking of land holding, it is necessary to integrate land based enterprises like fishery, poultry, duckery, apiary, field and horticultural crops etc within the biophysical and socio-economic environment of the farmers to make farming more profitability and dependable. Farming system is a complex interrelated matrix of soil, plants, animals, implements, flower, lever, capital and other inputs controlled in parts by farming families and influenced to varying degrees by political, economic, institutional and social forces that operate at many levels. The term farming system refers to a particular arrangement of farming enterprises there are many in response to physical, biological and socio-economic environment and in accordance with farmers' goals, preferences and resources. The household, its resources and the resource source and interaction at the individual farm levels are together referred to as a farm system. Income through arable farming alone is insufficient for bulk of the marginal farmers. The other activities such as dyeing, poultry, sericulture, apiculture, fisheries, etc. assume critical importance in supplementing their farm income. Farming system is an integrated set of activities that farmers perform in their farms under their resources and circumstances to maximize the productivity and net farm income on a sustainable basis. A judicious mix of any one or more of these enterprises with agronomic crops to supplement the farm income and help in recycling the farm residues waste. The key categories of determinants influencing farming system are as follows. Number one is natural resources and climate. The interaction of natural resources, climate and population determines the physical basis for farming systems. Number two is science and technology. Resource has been focused principally upon intensifying crop and livestock production. There has been emphasis in recent agriculture of targeting technologies towards women farmers and poor households. Number three is trade liberalization and market development. The availability of new production, post-harvest and transport technologies will also change 
demand patterns due to delivery of new products. Number four is policies, institutions, and public goods. The development of dynamic farming systems requires a conducive policy environment. Number five is information and human capital. The need for better information and enhanced human capital has also increased as production systems have become more integrated with regional, national, and international market system. Number six is indigenous technological knowledge. Indigenous technical knowledge is the knowledge that people in a given community has developed over time and continues to develop. Number one is crop production. Crop production is an important farming practice adopted invariably by every farmer. The cropping system should provide enough food for the family, fodder to the cattle and generate sufficient case income for domestic and cultivation expenses. Sequential cropping system. In sequential cropping, the proceeding crop has consideration influence on the succeeding crops. Multi-tier cropping. The practice of growing different crops of varying height Rooting pattern and duration is called multi-tier cropping or multi-storied cropping. Number two is dairy farming. Besides producing milk and oat drop power, the dairy animals are also good source of farmyard manure, which is good source of organic matter for improving soil fertility. The farm byproducts, in turn, are gainfully utilized for feeding the animals. Number three is goat and sheep rearing. Goat rearing, the activity is also associated with different systems such as crop or animal based, pastoral or sedentary, single animal or mixed herd, small or large scale. Next is sheep rearing. Sheep are well adapted to many areas. They are excellent gleaners and make use of most of the waste feed. Next point is piggery. Pigs are maintained for the production of pork. The pig grows first and is a prolific breeder, following 10 to 12 piglets at a time. Next is poultry. Poultry meat accounts for ever. 27% of the total meat consumed worldwide and its consumption is growing at an average of 5% annually. Next is duck rearing. Ducks have a production potential of above 130 to 140 eggs per bird per year. Next is apiculture. Apiculture is a science and culture of honeybees and their management. Honey is an excellent energy food with an average of about 3,500 calories per kg. Next point is fishery. With the traditional management, farmers obtain hardly 300 to 400 kg of wild and cultured fish per hectare annually. However, composite fish culture with the stocking density of 5,000 to 7,500 fingerlings per hectare and supplementary feeding can boost the total biomass production. Next point is sericulture. Sericulture is defined as a practice of combining mulberry cultivation, silvum rearing and sill healing. It plays an important role in socio-economic development of royal poor in some areas. The climatic conditions in India are favorable for luxuriant growth of mulberry and rearing of silkworms throughout the year. Next point is mushroom. Mushroom is an edible fungus. Just like other vegetables, mushroom contains 90% moisture 
with high in quality protein. They contain less fat and carbohydrates and are considered good for diabetic and blood pressure patients. Next is agroforestry. Agroforestry is a collective name for land use system and technologies in which woody perennials, trees, shrubs, palms, bamboos, etc. are deliberately combined on the same land management unit as agricultural crops and or animals either in some form of sepital arrangement or in a temporal sequence. Agroforestry is important for meeting fodder, foil wood and small timber of farmers, conserving soil and water maintenance of soil fertility, controlling salinity and water losing, positive environment impact and alternate land use for marginal and degraded lands. Next is agri silby cultural system. This system emphasizes raising of trees and cultivation of field crops and or fodder crops in the available space between the trees. Next point is agri hoti silviculture. In this system, fruit trees are grown along with crops and multi-purpose trees. Under the rain-fed situation, hardy fruit trees like bird, anola, pomegranate, gova could be grown along with dryland crops like pigeon pea, till, mud bean, mustard, etc. And the next point is silvi pastoral system. In the silvi pastoral system, improved pasture species are introduced with three species. In this system, grasses or grass legume mixture is grown along with the woody perennial simultaneously on the same unit of land in the marginal and submarginal and other degraded lands silby pastoral system has been found to be most economic agroforestry system especially in arid and semi-arid regions and hoti pastoral system it involves integration of fruit trees with pasture in the degraded arid and semi-arid wrestling raisins number of overgrazed plants. Next is agri silby pasture. It is a combination of agri silvi culture and silvi pastoral system. In arid degraded lanes of Rajasthan, Gujarat and Haryana, often dryland crops namely Bajra, Moth, Urat, to extra are grown in strips along with grass strip to avoid shifting seed and reaching crop area. Multi-purpose trees could be introduced both in the pasture strips as well as the crop strips, which besides protecting the crops from desiccating hot and cold wind would also provide leaf fodder, timber, etc. Beside pasture when there is a crop failure. And next point is pastoral silvicultural system. The pastoral silvicultural system is a practice in which grazing is the main component with scattered trees grown in the area. The practice is adopted in semi arid regions of the country, comprising the states of Andhra Pradesh. Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Maharashtra, and Madhya Pradesh. And the next point is biogas. A biogas unit is an asset to a farming family. It produces good manure and clean fuel and improves sanitation. It is a clean, unpolluted, and cheap source of energy. The gas is generated from the cow dung during anaerobic decomposition. Biogas generation is a complex biochemical process. 
The cellulosic material is broken down to methane and carbon dioxide by different groups of microorganisms. It can be used for cooking purpose, burning lamps, running pumps, etc. For the other enterprise, thus ensuring higher and efficient resource use efficiency. Number one is integrated farming system. Integrated farming is defined as biologically integrated systems which integrates natural resources in a regulation mechanism into farming activities to accept maximum replacement of all farm inputs, secures sustainable production of high quality food and other products through ecological preferred technologies, sustain farm income, eliminates or reduces sources of present environment pollution generated by agriculture and sustains the multiple functions of agriculture. Number two is farming systems in rain-fed areas. Agriculture in the rain-fed areas and fragile ecosystems is inevitable for meeting the food, fiber, and energy needs of the local inhabitants. Number three is indigenous farming system. Shifting cultivation, it refers to farming system in northeastern areas in which land under natural vegetation, usually forest is cleared by sloughs and burn method, crop with common arable crops for a few years and then left unattended. Next is Tonya cultivation. It involves cultivation of crops in forests or forest trees in crop fields. Next is Jabo cultivation. Jabo is an indigenous farming system practiced in northeastern hill regions, particularly in Nagaland. This system refers to combination of forests agriculture, livestock, and fisheries with well-founded soil and water conservation base. Per capita availability of land in India has declined from 0 0.5 hectare in the year 1950 to 1951. 0.15 hectare in the year 2000 to 2001. Due to conversion of valuable irrigated agricultural lands for non-agricultural purposes like residential houses, industrial and business establishments and subdivision and fermentation of holdings, the per capita availability of land is declining day by day. A judicious mix of cropping system with associated enterprises like dairy, poultry, piggery, fishery, sericulture, etc. suited to the given agroclimatic conditions and socio-economic status of farmers would bring prosperity to the farmer. Therefore, no single farm enterprise is able to meet the growing demands of food and other necessities of the small and marginal farmers. Thank you.